Nation. What is going on, guys? Brando Commando, back with another video. And today is actually going to be a heal guide for sorcery. Uh, right now, I'm just doing the uh, open world real quick. I don't want to. I don't want to miss any of these. Uh, this phase I'm in is pretty good, and uh, the rest of the phases are like dead. So. I don't want to miss out on these, uh, you know, getting these marks, take advantage of it, but uh, once I finish this boss, uh, I'll start up the uh, heal guide. Get those encrypted uh, schematics, schematics, alright. So let's start off, um, and it's too neat, I can kind of show you the rotation too of the healing, even though I don't really have a group to heal. <laughs> uh, the only ones I'll be doing any healing, because I'm not in a group, would be like these these two, so well in circle protection. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into this, uh, let's start off, let's start off with the gear. Um, and the the tactical the mods so you're going to want replenishing adapter for your weapon <coughs> a head socket i'm using energized uh circle of protection because i'm not using any supercharge right now with this build i have set up neck is going to be focused restor restoration uh back accelerated boon of souls uh, chest uh, right now it's the OP chest so I have it on the DPS side but if I was to do the heal side I would just put in uh, power efficiency leg socket doesn't matter uh, feet tumbling master uh, empower channeling for hands that's gonna help our one empower uh, our one channeling power we have which is an invocation of renew and then if I was like a main healer uh, you'd you know, if you're a main healer, you'd want your type A and B to be resto. Uh, type C mod, you're going to want healing uh, conservation. And type D would be field medic, are the best ones for your affinity mod bonuses. Uh, so let's jump over um, to the little trinkets here. Uh, standard setup, uh, you know, pet trinket for damage, the resto trinket, uh, supply drop, and orbital. Uh, bottle city soda of course for your consumable uh, artifacts uh, over the past few uh, months uh, DC is kind of uh, you know did some big changes nerfs to EOG so like the EOG meta is not as much like a lot of people aren't using it as much there are still some you know people that are still really trying to you know use it to help out dpsing and you know speed runs certain things like that uh, but it takes a lot more work now you have to have like a certain ally with its passive um, and there's just a couple of other things and even then it's still it's still not as good as it what, what it was uh, so a lot of healers now uh, they're just doing the pure healing setup so pure healing setup these are your three art um, artifacts that are Pretty much, you can use this for any power, healing power. You're going to use Page, Purple Healing Ray, and Transformation Card. Uh, a third artifact, if you don't want to use Transformation Card, is a lot of people use Clarion. So that's an option right there. So we got that covered. Uh, let's jump over to the uh, Augments. Of course, Restoration, Restoration. Uh, generator Mods, you know, at your base. Uh, those are going to be Restoration, uh, of course, too. All right, so let's jump over to the allies. Um, not too many options you can use. Uh, combat ally, I'm using Superman. He's good for like AOE. Uh, he's good for single target non-boss enemies. Uh, but for boss enemies, if it's like a boss fight, you just put on a uh, crypto. Uh, support ally, uh, Cyborg. Helps with uh, passive power recovery. So that's like a, a must, you know, might as well use it. And there's honestly not too many other artifacts you can use that will help uh, healing. Uh, I just figure use Batman Who Laughs. Um, 
and that will help a little bit. Critical chance for healing, plus 7.5% is a little chance there. Um, Enigma gives some power regeneration, and then Batman card gives 5% restoration. Uh, the only other one you could use, but I don't really use it because you have to go below 50. And I feel like as a healer, you don't go below 50 too often. So this is more so a tank artifact, I would say. But uh, it does increase your restoration by 15%. So that's kind of that's kind of a you know big increase there. Okay, so we got we got um, the allies covered. So let's. Okay, so the little fight's gonna start up here. So I'm just gonna kind of show you a little rotation. I haven't got into the actual powers yet, but um, just so you guys can watch to see. Uh, so basically you start out, you're gonna just wanna throw your, your heal over time. So the circle of protection, so well. And then after that, you know, you're just kind of, you're using your group, your priority heal whenever you need to. So I got a block here. Okay, let's say you want to heal, like the. Let's say you're in a raid and you want to heal like all your teammates because they're they're low health. That's when you're going to want to use um, invocation of renew. It's a big heal. But for the most part, you're just maintaining your two uh, heal over time. Just make sure they're they're always up. Uh, I would have the shield always up as you you know as much as you can. Just keep it all up, boom. Uh, it sucks it so well and Circle of Protection can be clipped. Uh, so for the setting it up, I felt this was the best way. You know, to try and make it, the clipping is, got a block right now. See, I can, I can clip all these at least. So right now I'm just, you know, whatever. If you're, if you're in a raid, pop your priority group, all that good stuff. Put up circle of protection, another soul well. Clip that, you can clip that with it. Got your shield now. Um, circle of protection, soul well. Okay, looks like they're defeated. Uh, just so you know, the, the radius on Solwell is uh, farther than you think. I always thought it was like a really close uh, proximity for the heal, but it's actually um, it's actually pretty far. Um, like just as far as Circle of Protection, to be honest. Uh, so you can kind of see Circle of Protection is pretty big, goes out from here. Uh, Solwell is actually pretty close to that. Um, I didn't even realize I was streaming right now. I was like, why am I seeing comments pop up as I'm making this uh, video? But anyways, um, so let's jump up, let's jump now into the uh, powers. So let's start off with uh, stat points. Actually, we'll start off with weapons. So a lot of people, they'll, they'll just, as a healer, they'll use, um, They'll use uh, dual wield and they'll do the flurry. Uh, if you don't want to spend all those points, you know, into getting the weapon mastery, you could just uh, uh, hand blasters is a good choice. A lot of healers use hand blasters, so you can use that. Uh, it's whatever, to be honest, personal preference. Super speed, I like to get the power recovery stuff when you break out, knock back, restraint, all that stuff. Um, iconic powers, you don't need anything because we're not, this is not an EOG spam. I'm not doing nothing dealing with that. But yeah, if it, if it was an EOG spam, you know, you'd get the typical pheromone bloom, you get a uh, speed drain, all that stuff. But we're not doing that because uh, it's kind of, healing has kind of moved a little bit uh, from that. You know, now you're, now you're not, you're not like, you're not like a dumbass if you're pure healing now in DC. It's not as it's not as you know. 
because before it was like oh need eog healer for this and it was literally all it was always that um you know now it's not really that anymore um all right so we got that covered stat points super powered critical healing chance 20 uh critical healing magnitude 40 max these out restoration you're gonna max that out and um so okay these these are the bottom stat points here this i kind of did some researching and watching some videos and i watched uh, obsidian chills uh, video pretty really knowledgeable guy on the game and he kind of made a good point of how uh the dominance for healer barely scales um so i kind of went off of that and um basically i wanted to he uh you know pick up put a hundred into might and power to get that uh 10 percent power just to help you know in case you're ever struggling with power and then after that i just put the rest in the health just because dominance doesn't uh scale that well for a healer but maybe if you're like doing like a pure shield you know you're in you're you're in a certain setup where you you want all the shield strength strength you can um because that's where dominance helps more of uh is the shield and then um you know because dominance does um if you read if you actually read dominance dominance is, is combined with restoration to turn the pussy of healing and shields um so the shield multiplier is bigger for dominance um restoration it's a uh, smaller multiplier um, but um, it's kind of your choice uh, different ways to go about this but for sure max out restoration all right so after after this little fight here I'll get into the loadout and powers it's honestly pointless if I heal might as well DPS, but I'll just I'll just heal to kind of give you an idea how the rotation would be. Throw out your healing dots. Pop up the shield. Priority if your group needs it or the group heal. Okay, circle of protection is up. Soul wells up. Okay, got a block. Clip that. Get the shield. Invocation of Renewal, if you need it for all the group. All right, let's throw up the dots. Throw up a shield. Dots, clip that. Boom, got two so wells, circle of protection. Circle of protection, so well. All right. Let me head to the next uh, area to get ready. Okay, so for the powers, <clears throat> uh, it's kind of tricky, but I I, 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 felt, I felt this was the best order for me to get used to it, the, like the order from left to right of the powers. But I got my two heal over times, uh, circle of protection, so well. Uh, this is my priority heal, rejuvenate, realistic, um, rit ritualistic award, um, group heal, and then got shield, and then invocation of renewal, which is a big uh, eight man heal. Um, works good. So I got I got away from using any type of supercharge. Uh, Arbiter of Destiny is really good. But the bird form can be annoying in certain raids and mechanics, so I, I want to go away from that. Because even though the the heals are OP, uh, I would say in rare scenarios would you ever need that crazy of heals. Uh, but if you do ha need it, you have it, and it's uh, basically I would replace that and I would put it in um, Invocation of Renewal, and then um, you know you then you make the loadout for that, and basically you're just spamming heals. Because you have like insane amounts of uh, power. Um, 
So that is that. Um, so let me just kind of give you an idea, um, you know, how the rotation would be like. So the idea is circle of protection, soul well, and boon of souls. Uh, these three powers, uh, when their cooldown is off, I always like to cast them. Um, I guess really... In, a, in a, let's say let's say for example in, a, in an alert and there's a, some mechanic where you want a shield you could time it to save that shield for that but as far as raids you know this is a four man shield so you you can't really you, there's nothing really to time mechanic wise I mean really so I would just when cooldown is done uh, just use this use it right away uh, you know so you get your most uh, you your use out of it. Uh, but yeah, that 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 situation though, like with an alert, where you only have a total of three other group members, so you can you can be smart with how you use the shield to help you uh, get through some mechanics easier and elite alerts. But for the most part, circle of protection, soul well, and boon of souls, you're going to be casting those right when the cooldown is done. Priority heal and group heal is uh, only is when needed, you know. And then same with the invocation of renewal. If you see like four health bars drop into fifty percent, you can pop this, um, and it helps out a lot. So to start out, you throw your heal over times, and then I'm going to do a a four way clip. Uh, this is the best way of, of clipping it. I feel like. Because uh, Circle of Protection and So Well don't clip. And it was kind of tricky to find out the order, but this is the best way I feel. So you throw out your Circle of Protection and then you do a four way clip. Oh, kind of messed that up. But all these powers clip. So then you just go like this boom, okay, then group needs priority hill, group hill. Alright, Circle of Protection, clip these, boom. Got two So Wells, boom, shields up. And all these, all these three powers right here, the priority group, they're all clippable. Okay, boom, get that, let me clip. So half, half the time you might as well just clip all this stuff because it, your your teammates are gonna be getting damaged anyway in like elite content, or the, you know, the tank. He's gonna need all these heals. Boom, so clip that, clip this. Kind of a simple concept of it. Keeping up two soul wells, keeping up your circle of protection, and basically spamming hills when you need to. Keeping up your shield. All right, let's just say uh, five group members, their health is going down a lot. I'm gonna pop this. And after that, just boom, get into the rotation. Boom. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, healing is pretty, pretty easy. Uh, <clears throat> so what I've always done, if if I'm chilling on power. If I'm chilling on power, it's it's probably not the the most smartest way as a healer. Like, um, you know, it's not it's not really the smart way as a healer. Like using your powers, whatever at the right time. But the way I think of it, basically, what I'm trying to say is, if, if you're if you're chilling on power, like your power bar is good. I like to just focus on what's in front of me, mechanics, uh, pickups, and I don't I don't really look at the my teammates health bar uh, because I don't look at the health bars because I'm spamming as much heals as I can anyway. Uh, if my health bar is good, so that for example that would look like this. Boom, boom, boom. You know my health, oh, okay. I got, I got a blocker now. Boom. Pop that. So right now, how I'm how my, how I'm healing, I would not be looking at my my uh, my teammates' health bar because I'm literally just spamming. Because I'm good on I'm good on my power bar. Boom. 
boom, boom, boom. And sometimes I'll boom, pop a soda, or you're good. So obviously this this isn't the the the, the way you should be doing it, but it, it's a way you can if you ever want to focus on mechanics. Like I've gotten some shit way back when I was a healer for this. Um, but it, it's not it's not it's not a bad thing in my opinion because there, there's no, no none of these heals I'm trying to time there's nothing I have to be smart with of when I cast it because the cooldowns are fast and I'm just throwing out heal over times oh shit you know what I mean so like in a, in a raid I'm always gonna have my shield up anyway so I'm always gonna spam that I'm always gonna have circle of protection up and I'm always gonna have two soul wells up and then these have fast cooldowns, so I can spam it, boom. <laughs> Got a buck. <laughs> but yeah, it, um... You never should have to really spam that much. I mean, you you will as mainly as keep a, keep an eye on your tank's health. That's the main thing as a healer, if any, if anything. But if you're spamming for that brief time, you don't have to look at you know any health bars because you're doing all that you can anyway, which should be should it always should be good. If it's not good, then it's not solo. Not soloable, but most most things are soloable now as a healer. Um, certain powers have it easier though, like they you know everyone says oh electric nature those are like one of the best better ones. But um, yeah, guys, pretty much sums it up. Uh, with everything when it comes to sorcery healing, I don't think I missed anything. Um, and then also, uh, like a few days ago, I had my DPS loadouts. If you guys want to check those out, they're they're uh, pretty good damage. Um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.